as you can see it's almost done and maybe by next weekend we'll be peeling out or maybe not anyway this video is in two parts the first part is just a brief summary of what's what I've done so far and then the second part of the video is all the sausage making to do all this stuff uh, this you know pretty raw fabrication and uh, so to begin uh, this whole thing was to get the motor actually anchored in and mounted and so I worked on the front motor mounts which started with the cross members and they are attached to the front of the swing arm boxes and so which is attached to the roll bar and the interesting thing about how this is attached to the swing arm box is that I knew I couldn't weld in there so I drilled a hole in the swing arm box and welded it from the inside of the swing arm box so that I could weld this on the bench all the way around uh, I'll show you in a minute the hole and the weld there this is uh, inch and a half 095 and uh, this is real lightweight um, 80 thousandths chromoly and with 125 thousandths tabs uh, I was originally going to solid mount it and I chickened out because I knew it was going to be noisy and whiny so there's some polyurethane bushings in there and I finally got the other other side swing arm capture extension in there and I, like I told you I show you in the video how I how I came across building those things and once we get out here where the roll bar is <laughs> welded to the floor this is this is a hundred thousandths plate and this is real just get her done MIG welding because it's really hard to TIG weld on this stuff so uh, it's break out the MIG welder and grind her down um, uh, yeah, this thing is just to align the motor. So just showing you a little bit of the detail. I'm glad I, I can, when I can weld on my own stuff, it's real nice because it doesn't have the, the galvanized finish on it. So I like that part, and the farther I get along with the build, the more I'm working off my own stuff. So you can see the hole right there, and I just welded it this way. Same thing on this side. So that I could have this bar, it just, it just came out, and I welded it on the bench with a strap from here to here, a temporary strap strap from there to there there we go uh, to keep it from warping when I when I welded this and that way I can weld all the way around on the bench um, these square things are to align the motor and actually all the positions it's not very clean because <laughs> but uh, I'll work on that once we got the two front mounts that that align basically sort the engine out. Now it's just a matter of how it tilts in the back, and that's coming up next is the back motor mounts. I'm going to talk about a little bit about. Uh, I'm not going to really talk about. It. I'm just going to show some video of me actually doing this stuff. And a lot of people you will cut out at this point, and that's fine. I'll see you on the next update. And um, if not, oh, a couple disclaimers. I don't talk much when I'm when I'm working. Uh, I find I can either talk, fabricate, or film, but I can't do all three. I could do two of the three. And, <laughs> um, and also, the camera seemed to get some smudge on the lens at some point, got, and I didn't realize it. So that's what happened there.
So uh, I forgot to film the part where I make this inner sleeve. Um, so I'm just going to describe how I how I do it. This is inch and a quarter, um, eighth inch cold rolled flat bar, and that's what I use for this particular side. And the way I do it is I start with the template, which I derive from from here that clears those bolts. Then you uh, write draw in the template on a piece of steel. This is an exact template from here and I'll explain why. So, so you have something to copy. So you have a rough template to copy. And then you stick, you stick the metal in, 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 the, uh, in this thing. In this case, this is an inch and quarter uh, tube, which makes an inch and a half radius, which which is what I was looking for right here. And you, you start like, I started right in the middle and you start making the bend and you don't move on until you perfect the, the first bend. And you f do the same thing all the way, th all the way through. You, you don't move on until you perfected the bend that you're working on. And then hopefully it comes out at the very end where it's very close. And um, it works like this. It's real simple. You, after you draw, you know, usually the, the bend starts, you know, you got to start to bend quite a bit early, like three eighths of an inch early before the bend. And you mark it on the top. And then put it in the center. Make sure it's square this way. And just simply pull it around and, and get it the right shape. And eventually it works out that it, it comes like this and uh, and then you and then you weld the uh, seams together. After that's done and you flatten made it all flat, then you put the final product that you bent on the on the, the place you want to cut. And you draw and you cut around the piece that you bent because the piece that you bend won't necessarily match exactly the piece that you are trying to bend around. So um, then you have to make a cut into here, drill a hole, drill all the way through, and then that'll fit in that part. So I've tacked this plate in along with tacked the collar in and every place I tacked I made sure it's in a position that it can easily grind out the tack wells. But I need this solid so that I can start making a template. So I'm going to weld this collar in 
And the way I'm going to do it is a flush weld on this side. So the way I do that is I just chamfer this piece, not this piece.
Yeah, the motor goes right here where I'm standing. What? 